Okay, so um, thanks for all the questions. Uh, we'll dive now into uh, some lecture components, but I'm gonna see if we can make some extra space for these sort of discussions uh, later in the day as well. Um, so we can keep the back and forth going. This is awesome. And I'm so grateful for those uh, folks taking advantage of the opportunity to engage in dialogue about these matters. It's, it's uh, fantastic use of bootcamp time. Um, okay, so I'd like to, to dive in now into two sets of materials. Uh, the first of them uh, just talks a little bit about some of the methods we'll be exploring here uh, over the next three days. And uh, then secondly, we're gonna be talking about this basic method of calibration. Um, so uh, here we go. And uh, we'll go and look at this um, featured tools of, of data system science. Um, um, so we've talked about uh, system science and data science as uh, two uh, computational traditions we're bringing together. And yesterday we kind of did a survey of the relationship between big data, machine learning, AI, data science. And we noted, you know, system science um, is not um, subsumed purely by those, but neither is it um, uh, a world of, apart from those. There, there's some definite overlap here. Um, now, uh, when I explored these issues in greater details, I did at a recent Fields Institute course. Um, uh, I, I'd like to emphasize the, the set of methods uh, characterized here. Um, uh, and uh, I would include in here, uh, like in the convergent cross mapping, some elements associated with uh, uh, state space analysis. Uh, this, these tools for, for understanding through the lens of what's called state space or phase space. Um, aspects of, of system structure as it is revealed in the data. Um, this reflects this, this phenomenon that I had noted, whereby in these complex coupled nonlinear systems, these types of complex systems with which we're, we're, we're dealing in, in our quandaries of decision-making, um, they're promiscuous. What goes on in one area of the system ripples through to other areas of the system. And what that means is the flip side of that is what you measure at one place of the system tells you something about what's going on elsewhere in the system. It whispers to you about other areas of the system. And if you measure it at several places and you use them together, you get sort of this, you know, triangulated view of what's going on in the system, this joint view of, um, um, sort of 3D view of, of this system, much as from a CAT scan, if you join together multiple images from different angles, you get a, a view of the volume of, of the entirety. Um, uh, but beyond that, um, there's a, a set of methods um, that, that we can explore here that are model-based. Um, for example, in this parameter estimation calibration, um, these hidden Markov models, um, uh, approximate Bayesian computation. Uh, here, um, we're dealing with parameter estimation methods as we are here. Um, Kalman filtering is, is to estimate state space, um, uh, to, to estimate where we are in state space, what's called filtering. Um, it's the filtering there, it's being used to join together a model-based representation with incoming data. To, to get a privileged you know, understanding of what the current situation is. And particle filtering, sequential Monte Carlo methods and PMCMC generalize that with PMCMC also estimating parameter values. Big data is a, is a key tool here for informing our models. And we've done a lot of work with informing models, say with data collected via smartphones, um, that is not, we don't have time to explore within this bootcamp, but if there were interest, I'd be glad to, you know, show examples, but where we use contact patterns measured from the smartphone and, for example, place them in an agent-based model. Um, Convergent uh, cross-mapping helps us 
use tools from state space analysis to identify causal connections between variables. One variable, you know, variable A is driving variable B causally, or B is driving A causally, or A is driving B and B is driving A causally. We can pick that up using observational data, using convergent cross mapping. We can actually resolve what's a causal connection compared to a correlational relationship between them. Very powerful. Um, deep learning is another topic which um, we uh, were very enthusiastic about, which we've applied some in our lab. Um, and uh, it's based upon a distributed and uh, for deep learning, multi-layer characterization of a system using uh, neural networks um, and can be used to, uh, uh, to infer structural regularities between components of a system. Um, I think someone's mic is unmuted. So if we could get that muted, uh, that would be good. Um, uh, and uh, dimensional analysis um, and model structural inference are two topics, which I would view as, as also um, fitting in this canon. Model structural analysis, uh, unfortunately, we won't have time to discuss uh, this boot camp, but involves inferring aspects of model structure from data. Um, uh, our student in our lab, Dion Patel, has done some considerable work with this, essentially inferring the underlying governing rules, um, the rules by which a system evolves that relate its current state to how it evolves using data. Uh, very powerful and an emerging field. Um, during the bootcamp, I'm hoping to explain those, I'm hoping to explore those in red. Um, uh, hoping to, to touch on all of these at sublevel. If you feel some that are not included here are of interest, I'd be glad to, to talk about them. Um, and I'm not actually sure if we'll be able to explore space. Well, I'm not sure if we will explore state space analysis with the current allocation. But if people are very interested, please let me know. Or if you're interested in CCM, um, uh, dimensional analysis, or structural inference, et cetera. Um, glad to, uh, to hear interest. I'm sorry, hidden Markov models are they're on the schedule for today. I don't know why that's, uh, that's not read here. It, it should be. Hey, come on. Um, oh, no. Uh, OK, fine. Um, so um, that should be read. OK. Um, so this is a little bit about where we're going with the boot camp and what we'll be exploring today, tomorrow, and Thursday. Um, I think I'll stop um, my screen sharing here and recording here, but I'll just add